hindsight's 2020. So it's easy for you and I to sit here and kind of relitigate the past. But, you know, you look at the fact that Fernando comes in and six consecutive seasons of 250 plus innings pitched, right? Like it would never even dream of happening in today's baseball, where if you get five innings out of a starter, Hey, great. Right. But yeah, you know, you ask Tommy Lasorda, he would probably say, well, you got two world series out of it. So was it kind of worth the cost? But in the grand scheme of things, do you think that early usage and kind of his decline at, age 27 28 that you could kind of see in his numbers like is is that what ultimately probably cost him a shot at the baseball hall of fame absolutely um he was overused um you know of course the screwball his signature pitch that's very taxing on mm-hmm. a p- pitcher's arm screwball is basically a, re- a curveball in reverse so instead of breaking away from a right-handed hitter it, it would go into a right hand and a hitter um so there was that, but the best example I could give you on how Tommy overused Fernando mm-hmm. um, was 1981. You know, he's a 20 year old kid. He pitched a ton of innings in the minor leagues. Um, pretty sure he pitched win- winter ball, spring training. And then he goes out there and pitches all those innings his rookie year. And, and because of the baseball strike of 1981, you know, seven weeks were taken off the season in the middle of this of of that year, the middle of that campaign. And that probably saved Fernando, but it also was to his detriment. And I'll I'll explain why. The Dodgers, because they were in first place when the strike began, mm-hmm. when the strike ended, they were automatically awarded a playoff spot. So no matter what they did in that second season, they were going to be in the division series against whoever won the second half in the AL West Mm -hmm. or the NL West. I'm sorry. And um, so the Dodgers really didn't have much to play for. I mean, they could rest their starters as much as they wanted, but Fernando was really good for business. And there were times when Fernando was pitching on three days rest down the stretch run in the season for really no reason, no yeah. major reason. I, there was some advantage to winning both halves. I, th- I, I don't know if they got like an extra home playoff game or whatever. It was something like that. But I mean, Fernando was just going out there throwing eight, nine innings every third day for a while. And, and that was very taxing and, you know, makes six straight all-star games and he's out there, like you said, over 250 innings. And um, yeah, it absolutely cost Fernando probably a shot at the Hall of Fame because he was only getting bigger for as great as 81 was. um, His 85 and 86 seasons were arguably better. Mm -hmm. Um, So he was really improving um, and he really hurt his arm in the prime of his career.